don't mind my hair. This is usually what it looks like before I throw on my wig. Um, so as I've stated in previous review videos for finger comber wigs, is that I do two twists, well, four total, but two on each side. I'll do flat twists. Um, and then usually I only use both twists or, uh, you know, I'll use both if I'm doing a top knot. If not, I'm only using at least this much um, leave out for my wigs. So, um, and I also usually wear a wig cap. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these twists on up in here. Um, I also do straight back corn rolls, about four of them in the back. We don't have to get into that. But this is about, about all I do. I'm looking like a Rugrats doll. Hey. Um, so yes, I'm doing a review on the Kinky Wave 2. Um, I've been waiting for this wig to be in stock in my color, the Darkest Espresso, for a minute now. And so I couldn't wait to receive it. Um, this is what it looks like. And I'm going to just throw it on. Make sure that these braids and twists are up in here. So it looks like the lead, oh, okay, it might work out. Um, so I'm currently wearing, um, like as far as every day, I'm wearing the kinky curl out unit. And so last night I forgot to put water on my twists. So I kind of just twisted it and went to sleep. And so it's a little dry which actually works out for this because this is more, the top part of the Kinky Wave 2 unit is like, like a brushed out, braid out looking deal. Um, so I'm thinking what I need to do in order to make this look more like me is to maybe leave less hair out so maybe just do literally just my edges but it's actually kind of blending in pretty well i think i'll need to kind of mm, do some picking to make the hair bigger It looks different on me. I will admit that. I like it. I will say that. I do like it. Um, but I gotta get the shape right. So like I said, I think with some picking and making the hair bigger, it'll be just right. And the thing with finger comber wigs, you don't want to pick it out too much because it's kind of hard to get it back to like, but this, I don't even know how I'm going to get it back to its like natural state. Um, cause at least with the regular finger comber wigs, I could braid it, dip it in some hot water or whatnot, but I don't want to do too much picking with this wig, but I do want it to be bigger to the point where it's like, oh, shoot, girl, you, you want to curl your hair? Mm-hmm, I sure did. So maybe what I'll do is I'll take this off and then I'm going to leave less leave out. out. Let's try that. All right, so I'm going to do a little less leave out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Tell us you want to bring a cab, okay? Literally just my edges. Because it's like the more hair you have out with this, is the more you have to like manipulate it. And I don't, number one, I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to wind curl my own hair at all. The whole point of a finger comb or a wig for me is that I'm not doing too much to my own hair. All right, so that should work. Let's try this again. There we go. I knew it would work. Okay, so it looks a little more natural because I don't have as much hair out, much leave out out. <sighs> this might be my like special occasions hair, like I wear it on Fridays or on the weekend or something, or if I'm taking blog photos. Not to say that I wouldn't wear it every day, but I wouldn't want to waste this at work. Like, I would not want to waste this hair at work whatsoever. <laughs> I, I'm just not, I'm not wasting on these folks, okay? Absolutely not. Um, This is the... Yeah, this is gonna take some playing with, but. Or maybe this is like a top knot hair, some top knot hair. Cause you know, I'm all about some top knot hair, especially when the hair is a little longer. So maybe that's what it is. So I can wear it down. I gotta have some hoops, some big hoops. All right, let me turn around for y'all so you can really see. It is long. But it's like, I gotta get the picking part right. So aside from that, I love the wig because I love wine curls in general. I always, well, way back when, um, I would blow out my kinky curly hair and I would wine curl it for a good amount of time. And so I definitely love the look and I was happy that, again, that it, it was in stock in my color. So this will definitely be my play hair. Um, I recommend it. I, have, I love finger comber wigs, so... You're not going to come on my YouTube channel and see me talking, talking dirty about finger comer because I spend my own money on it and I encourage you to buy it, especially um, if you're looking for something convenient. So definitely, um, if you're looking for some really cute play hair, if you already have a finger comer wig, I don't think this is one that you should experiment with. First, you should get like a kinky curl out wig and then add this to your collection of wigs so you have like options because right now I'm doing the kinky curl out LL, LS wig the kinky curl out and then I have the kinky wave too so I have three that I'm gonna be rotating definitely rotating this so let's see what it will look like if I 
screw it up. Oh, I'm so scared. I don't want to mess up the wine curls. Oh yeah, see, that's what it is. It needs to be up because it's longer. And I think over time, as it as I wear it, then I can eventually pull it down and then maneuver my edges. But yeah, it needs to be up in a ponytail or like a top knot deal. <laughs> but I'm so glad that you guys came to check out my YouTube review on the Kinky Wave 2. Um, I recommend it if you already have like some kinky curl out. Sorry, I, rec I recommend it if you already have some finger comber wigs and then you need another really fun one to add to your collection. Um, very affordable. If you use my promo code DLOLO, you'll get expedited shipping. So that's great. Um, but yeah. Get on finger comber. If you haven't already, get to it. And thanks guys for checking out my YouTube video. See you later. Finally it's happened to me right in front.